Hello and welcome to A Light for the Nation, your daily devotional program brought to you by the Catholic Church. My name is Tony Abba. Today we are looking at a very important topic, become who you are. But to guide us in today's reflections, we have Reverend Father Collins Ahibe. Today our reflection will be titled, Become Who You Are. Let us begin with a short prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Almighty and ever-living God, I thank you for the listeners of this program. I ask that you give us the grace to become true children of yours that we are, that we may mirror you in truth and in spirit, that we may follow you faithfully for the rest of our lives. We make these prayers through Christ our Lord. Our passage today will be taken from 1 John chapter 3, verse 1 and verse 2. And I will read, See what love the Father has bestowed on us, that we may be called the children of God. Yet so we are. So we are. Verse 2, Beloved, we are God's children now, and what we shall be has not yet been revealed to us. We know that when it is revealed, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. The Bible is telling us that we are God's children. It's a great privilege to be a child of God. That is who we are. And our mission on earth is a mission of becoming who we are. What is this mission about? It's a mission to mirror God. Everyone, every child should resemble his or her parents. When a child resembles the parents, someone will say, yes, you look so much like your father. So in the same way, if we are God's children, we are called to resemble our Heavenly Father. That is why, according to the Catechism of the Catholic Church, one of the reasons why God became man was so that God may show us the path that we should follow. There are four reasons given to us by the Catechism for incarnation. One, that God became man to save us from sin and death. Two, God became man to reveal his love for us. Three, God became man that we may know the path that we should follow, that Christ may be an example, an icon for us. Number four, God became man that we too may become gods, that we may put on divinity. But the third one is that God became man that we may have an example. That is why when you read Colossians and Ephesians chapter 1, the Bible tells us that Christ is the image of the invisible God. So in Christ Jesus, we see what it is we are supposed to become. So therefore, the Christian mission is a mission of becoming another Christ. So to become who you are simply means be another Christ. Because Christ is the perfect image of God. Christ is God himself who came to show us the path that we should follow. So therefore, friends, if we are to be God's children, we must put on the character of Christ. Christ, who was holy and humbled himself and put on our, our humanity. Christ, who was humble. When you read Matthew chapter 11, verse 29, he it said, it 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 Come to me, all you labor and overburden, and I will give you rest. Imitate me, for I am meek and humble of heart. Christ was a humble man. So to, to resemble Christ, we must be men and women of meekness and men and women of humility. God is holy God. Christ is holy. That is why the scripture tells us you must be holy for your heavenly father is holy. If we therefore are God's children, we cannot afford to live a life of sin because of who we are, because of our nobility. We are God's children, created in the image and likeness of God. So when we live a life of virtue, we mirror God. That's what the Paul again tells us in Philippians chapter 4, verse 8. He said, that which is good, that which is honorable, that which is virtuous, that we should do it. So Paul is calling us to a life of virtue and a life of holiness. When you read Matthew chapter 5, verse 43, the Lord tells us, You have heard, you should love your neighbor and hate your enemies. But I say to you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you so that you will be like your heavenly father. God is always loving us in spite of our sinfulness. So for us to resemble God, we must love our neighbor unconditionally. 
This unconditional love of, God, of our neighbor becomes a way of we putting on the character of Christ and the character of God. When Christ was being crucified, he prayed for those who were killing him. Father, forgive them. They do not know what they are doing. So the Lord forgive those who were killing him. But today in our world, what do we hear? We hear people saying, Holy Ghost fire, destroy my enemies. But for us Catholics, we are saying no. You have to love your enemies. You have to forgive your enemies. You have to pray for your enemies. Because that is the example Jesus himself gave us. When he was being crucified, he prayed for those who were crucifying him. Father, forgive them. They do not know what they are doing. So for us to resemble Jesus, therefore, for us to become who we are, therefore, we must be a forgiving people. We must be men and women of forgiveness. That is our mission. That is what, again, when you read also First, Second Corinthians chapter 5, the Bible tells us that God has reconciled the world to himself, through the death of his son on, on the cross of Calvary, and he has given us the ministry of reconciliation. So to become who we are, therefore, we must be men and women of reconciliation, men and women of unity. Christ came that we may have peace and have it abundantly. Therefore, my friends, I am saying to you today, you have a, you have a, you have a life, a nobility to live, to be men and women of truth. Christ said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. When you stand for truth, you are living out your nobility. When you stand for righteousness, you are living out your nobility. When you stand for truth, you are living out your nobility. When you do good to your neighbor, when you show compassion, you are living out your nobility. Because God is love. When you read 1 John chapter 4, verse 8, he said, where love is found, there God is found. Because God is love. So on a final note, friends, I want to say to you, don't forget who you are. You are God's own child. Your mission, therefore, is to become God's child in truth and in spirit. How do we become this God's own child? Through communion with Jesus Christ, through a life of the Spirit, we become God's children. Let us pray that God give us this character of Jesus so that we will live a life of integrity and righteousness. Let us pray. Almighty and ever living God, I thank you for my listener this moment. I pray that as they listen to your word, that you will strengthen them. They will not give up on themselves. That even if they fall again and again, they will pick up again and begin to live a life of integrity and a life of holiness because you created us for yourself. You have called us to serve you in truth and in spirit. Help us to serve you in truth and in spirit. And may Almighty God bless you and keep you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Reverend Father Collins Ahigbe is of the order of the preachers guiding us in today's reflections. I believe you have learned how to become who you are, who God actually created you to be. But if you have questions or suggestions you want to share with us, please send us a short message on the numbers showing on your screen or send us an email at ctvnigeria at yahoo.com or post us a comment on our Facebook page. Let us interact and help one another to becoming who God actually wants us to be. Bye for now and have a blessed day ahead. God of mercy and compassion look with pity upon me Father let me call the Father tis thy child returns to thee Jesus Lord I ask for mercy let me not implore Seen again, never will I sing again. By my sins, I have deserved death and endless misery. All 
eat Things and torment And for all eternity Jesus Lord I ask for mercy Let me not Implore in vain All my sins I Now detest them Never will I sin again Never will I sin again By my saints I have and claim to have the mind where the saints rejoice forever in a boundless sea of love Jesus Lord I ask for mercy let me know Sing again, Jesus Lord. I ask for mercy. Let me not implore in vain. All my sins I now detest them. Never will I sing again. Never will I sing. Ah.